We are continuously fascinated by the Earth because it is such a huge and lovely area. In the big scale of things, it is a tiny matter, but since, since technology made it possible for us to launch satellites and rockets into space, we've been curious to find out more about the unexplored. However, how can we accomplish this given that the Voyager space probe is giving us data to examine and that it has recently brought us a terrible new message that will change everything? Join us in the video of today. We discuss everything the Voyager has found so far, including the alarming new message. It recently sent response to better comprehend the situation. Prior to moving on, it is important to start at the beginning with the Voyager and Voyager 2 spacecraft's first launch. Contrary to what their titles imply, the probe Voyager 2 was the first explorer to depart Earth. On August 20, 1977, the launch was successful and Voyager 1 arrived in September. The first time the Moon and Earth were captured in the same frame was on August 18, 1977 when both spacecraft were on their way to explore the cosmos. Soon after the launch, this occurred, and NASA had already begun making history. But the mission involved much more than just idling close to the moon. It was done to look into the enigmas of the solar system in which we live. The entire endeavor was thoroughly thought out. Despite the fact that we thought the solar system was perfectly spherical, not all of the planets orbited an oval-like pattern. Additionally, they are only fully lit for brief periods of time, making it possible for the Voyager to travel between all the planets with great efficiency. In August and September 1977, the first trajectory was directly in its path. It wouldn't have to veer off the path very much to get where it was going. Since the Voyages did not run on solar power or regular fuel, this was essential. Instead, given the distance ahead of them, they use ergs. Within a year, they had to properly utilize them. The Voyages had arrived at Jupiter and had relayed more than 4,000 images of the planet to scientists. It also discovered a second ring and two new moons. Thus, it became clear after the first year that it was well worth it to send the $865 million probes into orbit. While some may disagree, it is impossible to dispute the importance of comprehending the solar system in which we reside. With each parsing second, the Voyagers communicated back more and more information. After the Jupiter mission was a success and the Voyager was set to travel to Saturn, things only got stranger as time went on. It turned out to be more difficult than NASA had anticipated, since it was discovered that Saturn has four additional moons, which were previously unknown. In addition to its rocky landscape and the Voyager colliding with several space objects, Titan, the largest moon, was one of the significant discoveries, showing that we were overlooking crucial information in all of the daughter. We previously believed we were aware that this marked the precise location of the first mission's formal finish. NASA scientists changed the trajectory to take them outside of our solar system rather than aiming for Neptune nor Uranus. Voyager 2 is now where it was supposed to be and has arrived at the planet so perfectly on August 25, 2012. Before the Voyager spacecraft officially left the solar system, it sent back a family portrait of the solar system that included all of the planets. The Earth's small size in the grand scheme of things was revealed for the first time in real detail, as it broke through the heliopause and heliosphere, officially beginning his adventure outside the solar system. It broke through the barrier. The Voyages left for their journey. Nobody could have imagined that the technology of the 1970s would last this long for the purpose of exploring the solar system. Even beyond that, into interstellar space the Voyager isn't in pristine shape, and several of its systems had to be turned off in order to keep it running, the same way it has been for a while. The camera's operation and the dart it sent down to Earth were never really a huge deal. Yes, the speed of information has slowed, however, since we can still obtain data from the solar system's edge finds that waiting a few hours for a communication isn't so bad. But this year, questions have been raised about all of that. At this time, the Voyager spacecraft is more over 15 billion miles away from Earth. 
And even though everything appears to be working as it should, a few unanticipated irregularities in the data have been discovered. To Earth, it has been sending. It was discovered that the spaceship was having trouble figuring out where it was and where it intended to go. The Safe Mode Project Manager, Judith Dodd, it was noted that given the project's 45-year operating history despite its challenges, issues like this are to be expected at this point. Safe Mode hadn't been activated on the spacecraft. The communication appeared to inform NASA that an extraterrestrial object had been contacted by the spacecraft. It could have appeared to be a rock, a gas pocket, or anything else that might have existed in space. It appeared like something or someone had made contact with the Voyager at first glance. That is tremendously exciting and terrible to think about at the same time. And the extraterrestrial knife is something we are always looking for. The fact that we don't know how bright they might be, however, is worrisome. Furthermore, given how far away the spacecraft is from Earth, the fact that it took 21 hours to receive information each time suggests that you would have to wait at least a day to learn what happened next. The NASA team determined that the spacecraft's malfunctioning altitude articulation and control system was the likely cause of the issue. This failure caused the spacecraft to become confused while it was traveling through space and caused it to send messages to a dead computer, which damaged the data before it was sent to NASA. Thankfully, it was a problem that could be resolved by NASA's control center on Earth. By giving the spacecraft instructions that allowed it to redirect data back to the appropriate computer, NASA was able to rectify the message corruption, even since the Voyager wasn't even expected to be operating at this point. Well then five decades after launch, everything was merely an error. Scientists working on the project are unsure whether the Voyager's decision to broadcast signals via a dead computer after decades of operation was a conscious decision or a glitch. Even after the upgrade, the Voyager continued to function normally. They don't know why Voyager switched, other than if it came into contact with something that altered the way it sent signals back to NASA. But the computers and Voyager still function properly today. Given the Voyager's present location, which is further than any spacecraft has ever traveled, there are two possibilities. The Voyager had a random malfunction or another total disruption for the first time in five decades. Something about the way it worked caused it to send us the notice, which we may or may not fully understand at this time. But it doesn't imply we should completely disregard it because we can't understand it yet. There is a chance that this message is deeper than we are being lead to believe. And if that's the case, the Voyager did more than anyone could have possibly expected. But it also made touch with entities who have communicated with us. And if we only get one communication along those lines from Voyager 2, it might be the beginning of something much bigger than anyone could have ever imagined. It's possible that we'll learn more about the unknowable if we're successful. Future generations might find this mistake to be much more beneficial than we currently think. Future technologies may allow us to pinpoint the precise reasons why Voyager ran into the issues it did. The idea of living in space is dreadful. We have no notion how intelligent it might be as for what comes next because we haven't yet found it. Outside of our solar system, we still need to keep looking for extraterrestrial life and hope that we are the ones to uncover it. We start off today's video with that ominous sound. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next.